welcome everybody and thank everyone for coming out. You know, this has been a long process in trying to clean our waterways up and coming up with new technology on how to get rid of the algae bloom is a key factor of this. is a priceless national treasure that was neglected for decades, but hope is on the horizon. With state grants, the local half-cent sorrel sales tax, and the science-based plan, we are investing in cost-effective projects to reduce pollution and clean our lagoon. The AECOM harvester will remove algae from the water along with its associated nutrients. This innovative demonstration project coincides with the mission of the Save Our Indian River Lagoon project plan, which includes removing and reducing excess nutrients that are polluting the Indian River Lagoon and fueling harmful algal blooms. One of the things I wanted everybody to understand is we're going to go through a tour today. Our company has spent years developing a technology to work with nature, essentially finding a way to take nutrients out of the water as effectively as possible. But one of the biggest problems that we're facing, not just here in the IRL, but throughout our state, throughout our country, is harmful algal blooms. They're becoming more toxic and they're lasting longer. When you go out to this harvester, we're gonna be showing how we're taking the intact algae cells out of the water and separating them. The IRL just recently, in 2020, had a devastated bloom that lasted for months. We had fish kills, etc. So these are things that, that we need to look at and we also need to look at why do we have these problems? If we go back 40, 50 years, we had two real big sources. We had wastewater and then we had fertilizers. And just to put a sense of how much fertilizers are being used, when we look back to 1960, the world was using about 40 million tons of fertilizer. Today, the world's using over 200 million tons of fertilizer. The U.S. uses 10%. So we have 20 million tons of fertilizer that we're using every single year. 50%, probably more, is being leached into our soils and into our water. So we need to find ways to turn that off. We need to find ways to work with nature. We have to look at every tool possible as we adjust and address these environmental challenges. Technology is going to play an important role and the only way we can move technology forward is through investment. What you're seeing with AECOM is the result of some of that investment in technology development, testing, then fine tuning. It's great to see uh, the partnerships among the state, federal and local governments to safe keep such a natural resource such as the Indian River Lagoon. So very happy to be here. This is just one more tool of helping clean our waterway. It is an economic driver in this community because of the tourism that we receive here, as well as the quality of life. People come to Bavard County and the Indian River Lagoon because they like the quality of life we have here to offer. So this is an important project and it's very important to our community. Mm -hmm.